I mean, the one time I need to talk to my mother and she is nowhere to be found. I'm right here. Oh, well, finally, because I really need to talk to you. Mother, I'm really worried here, okay? I'm very worried about losing Ethan. I mean, he just, he takes Gertrude's side over mine, like, over and over again. He to seems to be totally, like, distracted. Okay, um, what is this? Hi, I'm in crisis mode here, and you are dressed up for Halloween. What? Honey, we all have our problems here, all right? I mean, I was having a private party with Pablo down in the boathouse when the earthquake struck. I mean, I was Wonder Woman. He was the Incredible Hulk. I have green body paint in the strangest places. <laughs> but anyway, I thought the Hulk was making the earth move, but I was wrong. It really was moving. And then Pablo got freaked and he ran screaming into the night and left me to walk up Raven Hill all by myself in these boots. I mean, at least in the tsunami, we had boats. Would you please listen to me? I am having my own private seismic event here. Ethan isn't listening to a word I say. Oh, honey, please, they never do. No, you don't exactly understand here. Well, of course I do. Honey, you just need to get another husband or two under your belt, and then you'll get the hang I of it. I don't want another husband. I want Ethan. <sighs> okay, fine. Then your job is to make sure that he knows that whatever he says or does, your decisions are the only ones that matter. Now that is a successful marriage. Okay, you must not be listening to me. I told you we have had crisis after crisis in this house tonight, and Ethan completely sidelines me and sides with Gertrude. I'm a little nervous. It's almost like he's picking her over me. Oh, honey, please. That is absurd. You would never lose Ethan to Gertrude. Honey, the only woman that could possibly take Ethan away from you would be Teresa. And Teresa's dead. Seriously, you have no idea what's been going on in this house tonight. Honey, what difference does it make, all right? You don't need any magic bracelets to get what you want. Teresa is dead. You have no competition for Ethan. Look, I really want to believe you. <laughs> but something very strange has been going on here. I've been having these dreams. Sometimes it feels like hallucinations. I, I dreamed or hallucinated that Ethan was making love to Teresa. Oh, honey, dreams don't matter. Oh, wait. Listen, you don't really understand here. Yeah, I do, honey. You are just being insecure. Teresa is dead. She is not going to rise from her watery grave to steal your man. Look, Teresa may be dead. It doesn't mean that everything's rosy. Oh, I don't know. I've had an extra little spring in my step since I heard that sharks had chomped her to death. Mother, I'm really worried here. Why? Ethan is yours. Okay, and what about Gertrude? Gertrude? Oh, honey, don't be absurd. No, Mother, listen. You should hear the way he talks to her, and he actually listens to every word that she says. And earlier, when the earthquake hit, Gertrude was hit by a bookcase, and oh, the way he gave her CPR was like almost as if he was making love to her or something. Honey, are you sure that bookcase didn't hurt you? Look, I'm serious. And another thing, you know, I didn't just dream that Ethan made love to Teresa. I also... Dream that he made love to Gertrude. Oh, my poor baby. I mean, you really do have it bad. Ethan with Gertrude. Honey, the woman is hideous. I mean, that would never happen. I mean, even if Ethan drank an entire case of vodka, he would never be with that woman. Oh. Hello? Oh. Thank you. That's that's wonderful. Thank you very much. Hmm. What? What? Good news? Oh yes. I have to go. I have to go find Ethan right away. Okay. Go. 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 Be with the man who loves you. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Ethan. Gwen. My goodness. Oh no no Gwen it's it's not what it looks like at all. Oh I um. I know exactly what's going on here. Gwen, sorry. Uh, Gertrude and I... Don't we worry were... about it. I am not mad. 
you're not. No, of course not, Gertrude. You've been through hell tonight, and besides, I'm the one who sent Ethan here to talk to you about some problems I've been having with you. Problems? Well, yeah. I mean, Gertrude, I need you to listen to me and stop contradicting me all the time. You need to realize that, you know, I'm the one in charge of the children, not you. Right? And I'm sure hearing that from Ethan got you a little upset and he gave you a hug. No big deal. It doesn't bother me. I'm certainly not going to begrudge you a hug. Oh, you are so understanding. So, I have some amazing news. <laughs> really? Well, let's go back to the room and talk about it. No, I can't even wait. Not even for a second. Let's just stay right here because you are seriously not going to believe it. So, uh, what's, what's so important? What's the big news here? Okay, so the woman from the church called, she does the scheduling, and we have a date set for our marriage renewal. We are going to be married again. Oh, my. 